Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are going to be setting up ourselves a plane to basically demonstrate the Doppler effect inside of Unity. So the Doppler effect uh, is something we experience in the real world and it has to do with uh, audio sources that are moving towards us or moving away from us. Okay, so everything that produces sound creates sound waves, which takes time in order for it to reach us. Now, if an object is moving towards you uh, far, very fast, such as a plane, its sound waves are going to be much more compressed if they are moving towards you, okay, which results in a higher pitch sound that you hear. Then when that object passes you, the pitch of this uh, sound goes down as the audio, as the sound waves are much more stretched out. Okay, and this is something that is built into Unity by default, and we are going to experience it with this little plane example that we're going to be setting up. So first of all, let's go down here, and we are going to create ourselves a little plane model. So I'm going to right click, create an empty game object, set the position to 000 here, move it up a bit, rename this to be plane, and then as a child of this, I'm going to create a 3D object of a cube. Let's go to our materials folder create a brand new material here called plane. It's going to be red like so. We can assign that material here. And pretty much I just want you to go through and model a basic uh, plane model, okay? I'll be right back to see how you're done. Okay, and there we go. That is a basic plane model set up and ready to go. So now what we need to do is on this main plane empty object, I'm gonna create an audio source component. So I'll go audio source right here open that up. We're going to set the audio clip here to be the plain sound effect. So I'll select it right here. There we go. Uh, we're then going to make sure play on awake is enabled and loop is enabled as well since we do want the sound to be looping. We're going to set the spatial blend to be 3D so we can hear uh, where it is in terms of its position in the world. And down here with Doppler level, I reckon a Doppler setting of about 0.5 is generally good for this. So we'll go 0.5 for that. For the max distance, we're gonna change this to be a thousand since this is gonna be flying quite a while away. And as you can see, the drop off uh, looks a bit weird. We wanna, be, we wanna still be able to hear it from a distance. So I'm gonna set the logarithmic log roll off to be a custom one here. Uh, we can then select this node up here, bring it down so it is sort of more like a downwards curve like so. Okay, save that. We then want to set up our plane so that it can rotate around. And the way we're going to be doing this is by just rotating a empty game object, which is going to be about, uh, let's just say, about 500 meters out into space there. So I'm going to create a new empty game object called plane rotator. I'm going to set the position on the X to be 500, uh, the Y to be around 25, and the Z to be zero. Now we can drag the plane in as a child and set its position to be negative 500 on the X and zero on the Y. Now, if we look here, the plane's up in the air. Let's also give it a bit of a tilt. And if we select the plane rotator, you'll see that if we uh, drag along this Y axis, you'll see that the plane is, whoops, you'll see that the plane is moving along like so, which is what we want, okay? Now we need a script that is going to rotate this empty object over time. So let's go to our scripts folder create a new uh, C-sharp script called rotator and attach this to the plane rotator game object right here. And this rotator script, if we open it up, uh, all we're gonna be doing inside of here is creating two variables, a public vector three for the axis and a public float for the speed. So the axis is the rotational axis we're gonna be rotating around and the speed is how fast uh, we're gonna be rotating at. So inside of the update function, what we want to do here is just go transform.rotate. Uh, we'll send over the axis here, and then we'll send over the speed multiplied by time dot delta time to bring it to a uh, per second time frame rather than a per frame time frame. Save that, return to Unity, and for the plane rotator here, we are going to give it an axis of vector three dot up, so zero on the X, one on the Y, and zero on the Z. So it's gonna be rotating along its Y axis here. And for speed, we're gonna give it 10. Okay, save that and press play. So you see at the plane, uh, automatic, straight away the sound dipped 
in, vol in, in pitch I mean, which is the Doppler effect of this plane flying away from us. So the sound waves emitting from this plane uh, are being stretched out as it's moving away from us. But you'll see that as it starts to go around and slowly come towards us, the sound is going to be much more high pitch because the sound waves are more compressed. Okay, and here it comes. And you'll hear it change when it flies above us. Just like that. Okay, and that is the Doppler effect in action inside of Unity here. Now, something cool, we can also go into the alleyway here, and since we now have a reverb inside of here, when the plane passes us, we'll also be hearing the reverb included with that, as it doesn't matter what the audio source is inside or outside of the reverb zone, it only matters if the audio listener is inside. And here we go. So there you go, you can hear that the reverb also applies for any audio sources outside of the reverb zone as well, which is pretty cool. So by default, I think I'm going to move our uh, plane rotator over a bit so we don't have it uh, hurting our ears straight away when it plays, so I'll move it about there. Uh, and in the next lesson, we are going to be looking at creating a, uh, a simple little fireplace here. We'll be having a challenge with that. And we'll be setting it up so that when you go closer to it, the fire gets louder. And as you walk away, the fire gets quieter, okay? Just look at how an audio source can work alongside an object to give it much more atmosphere and make it seem much more realistic. So I'll see you all then in the next lesson.